All right guys, today we're gonna to clean a radiator. First, I wanna apologize for the dimensions. I originally wanted to format this video for a short, but I ended up with too much content. So first, to clean the radiator, we gotta be able to get to the radiator. So you're gonna need a tool. Sometimes you have to pull a clip and pull a trim piece that's under the hood off so you can get to the radiator. All right, after you get that piece off, you'll have access to the front of the condenser. You wanna get look in there and you also want to try to spray in behind the radiator but you'll see in a minute I end up removing the grill but now we're spraying the radiator we want to wet it down we don't want to use a lot of pressure because right now where we're spraying into is the condenser on most vehicles the condenser sits in front of the radiator so that's actually where a lot of your airflow gets blocked is bugs and debris getting in the condenser so now we're spraying behind the radiator and we're trying to spray forward we want to try to dislodge and push as much stuff as we can out instead of pushing it in how it got stuck originally all right now after spraying i'm going to get some bug remover and spray on the front of the condenser area and i'm going to let it dwell and at this point this is actually where i'm going to I'm spraying this and I'm going to end up removing the grill so I can get better access to the front of the condenser. All right, as I said a moment ago, the condenser normally sits in front of the radiator on most vehicles that have air conditioning. So cleaning this may help your radiator cool better, but it may also help your air conditioner to cool the inside of the vehicle better. All right, now we have the grill removed. I'm spraying some more bug remover and I'm gonna let it penetrate for a moment. All right, we let it penetrate. So now we're just gonna kinda spray it. Kinda wanna go at an angle with it. We don't wanna spray straight in. We wanna try to push it off instead of pushing it into the condenser even further than it's embedded now. So we're just gonna lightly spray it here. Now we're going to spray behind the radiator where the fan is. It's going to be difficult to do that because the fan is in the way, but get in there and spray as much as you can and do the best you can to try to push stuff out. You do want to try to clean it on both sides as best as you can. You may not be perfect, but anything's better than nothing. Right now I'm switching back to the front. I'm still using water. Now I'm using my hand to brush lightly on the condenser. I'm using my hand to actually scrub it, but I'm using my hand because I don't want to damage the fins. Now you can look and you can see water flowing in between the condenser and the radiator. So if water can do this, you know air is able to get by and the cleaning is actually working well. And if you look behind, you can see the water getting through to the radiator from spraying from the front of the condenser. So that's good. And it means it's working. All right, guys, with all this being said, this is on a 2006 Honda Accord. This is going to vary vehicle from vehicle, but you should be able to get access to the front of the radiator. Now that we're done, we're going to build it up. We're finished building it up, and we are complete. We have finished the radiator cleaning. We'll test it out and see what happens. The reason I decided to clean the radiator is I went to pick up my child from school and I was sitting in line and the temperature started creeping up. It was a real hot day. The fans are functioning properly and I had plenty of coolant. So I decided I needed to clean the radiator. But with that being said, if you do clean your radiator, also check your coolant and make sure you have enough coolant in your vehicle. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.